Hi everybody, I'm Sandy Sandler and I'm the creator of the Bodabra and today we are going to make some really fun DIY baby shower, baby gift, baby gift packaging ideas. So I'm going to get started with um, an easy DIY ribbon flower. So um, I'm going to use the burlap as the background. So what I'm going to do is dovetail the end. So I'm just taking my pieces of burlap and I'm just going to clip that. So that's how we get our pointed ends. And then now I'm going to do the same thing, fold it in half. And I'm going to cut from the corner into the fold. And that's how we get our pointed, what I call dovetailed ends. Gail said hi, Sandy. Hi, Gail. I heard that you guys are going to be having a lot of rain. So I guess you need to have your little boat available. <laughs> I heard that on the news and I thought, oh no, you guys had so much rain. So, um, okay, so now we're gonna get back to the flower. Is there anybody else wanted to say? I know Maria was on earlier. Maria said hello. Is that Maria? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi, I thought you might be here. Hi, Maria. And I had had a request a while ago from one of our viewers and customers who wanted me to do some baby shower ideas. So I know I said today was gonna be Christmas in July. We're gonna do that next Monday, but I wanted to do the request and do some baby shower fun things. So I hope you guys like it. So I've got my Bodabra bow wire. Gail said, yes, everything is getting um, mildew outside. Oh, yuck. So um, now I'm gonna take my um, burlap and I'm just gonna scrunch this down and to make this sort of the base of my bow. Take another piece here. And I think this bow would be really pretty um, on a package or even in a little girl's hair on a headband for a baby. Um, hopefully a baby girl, but I guess you could put it on a baby boy. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep putting this down in here. And now I'm going to take, now my petals are probably about the width. I mean, oh, not my petals. My, um, my, these are my leaves and then these are now my petals. And they're about a, maybe a half an inch wider than the Bodabra if you're trying to figure out the size. I'm just gonna scrunch these in here. Another one. We are putting quite a bit of ribbon in here, but the mini Bodabra can hold it all. Scrunch that down. Now I'm gonna use my wand to just really push everything in. And So, and, and I have gotten a lot of requests from people to do more wedding videos. And um, I'm going to do, like I said, next week, we're going to do some, you know, do ahead Christmas decorating. So, or holiday decorating, I should say. And then now I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire, which I already folded in half, pull it through the slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the mini Bodabra. I'm going to take it out and separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And I can either tie this or twist it because the wire will hold if it's twisted. Terry said hello. Hi, Terry, how are you? And now I'm just gonna shape out my flower. And I like to kind of bring the whole flower up, which is why I prefer to use wired ribbon because it makes it a little bit easier to shape your flower to get the exact look that you want. And just kind of scrunch these petals down in here. It's the other reason that I like the wire. And Vivi's coming over. I don't know if she's gonna join us. Gail said so pretty, you've got this. Thank you, Gail. And, and it's so simple. Like, how easy is that? And it would make a really pretty on top of a baby package or a baby gift. Maria so, said love it. thank you, Maria. Yeah, I appreciate it. And you guys, I just love how loyal you are and how you always join me on Mondays. It's like really, I just can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. So, now we're going to go from little flower to big, huge arrangement. I mean, sort of a centerpiece table decoration. It could be a door decor. 
So this was something Michael designed. So of course, if Michael designed it, it's big. Because as we know, Michael likes everything big. So now I'm going to take my mini bodab. I'm not my mini bodab. Lori said cute, cute, cute. Um, Thank you, Lori. Crystal said beautiful bow. And Linda said, do you have a pattern for this? Um, we don't have a pattern because I kind of just do it as I go, but um, what we'll do, we I did do um, a flower bow. Basically, I just take the petals, which are around four to five inches. I'm using about a one inch, maybe a one in, it's about a one inch wide ribbon. And I just do about three or four petal, three or four leaves, or I'm sorry, three leaves. Then I've got three petals here and three petals, or four petals and then three petals. And these are around four to five inches is how much I cut for the petals. So, but we will have a tutorial on bodabrablog.com and also in the app. So if you don't have the app, make sure you download it because every time we do a new project, it's available on the app. So it's really easy to get it. And I know that we have the flower coming up. Um, so I'm gonna fold this in half. And what I'll do too is I'll make a Christmas flower for next week so that um, it'll be the same thing, but we'll just do it in holiday colors so that you can maybe have an idea of, and I'll have, I promise, measurements. Gail <laughs> so said that she saw the new word ever packaging. Oh, cool, did you like it, Gail? The honest truth. Okay, so now, this is just, I've folded my, my um, wire in half and laid it into Bodabra. And this is just some tool that we had laying around. We actually used it as a backdrop for a lot of our older um, Bodabra videos. So all I'm doing here is just scrunching the tool into the Bodabra. And people will ask me a lot of times how big a bow. Well, it can be as wide as you want because you're only limited by how much you can put into the bodabra. So now I'm gonna take some more ribbon that we're just gonna, I mean tool that we're just gonna scrunch in. So I'm gonna scrunch this in here. So this is just like, it's a, this really big piece, but it's like really, really quick to make. So I'm going to scrunch all that in, and now this piece here, we're just going to fold back and forth. I'm just going to make sure I have this all. And again, it's just a really wide, probably a yard wide of tool that I'm just scrunching in. Find my wand to help me scrunch everything down. There we go. And it back and finish up right here and then I have whoops I'm gonna make a total mess here just what I thought so now I have this really pretty lighted piece here so and you can see as I turn the lights on it's really kind of cool and then now um, it's just a piece, basically this is a four inch ribbon and I've already dovetailed the ends. So I'm just gonna scrunch this down in here and then I'm gonna take this sparkle glittery tool and scrunch this in. So you guys can see in just a couple minutes with using pretty much scraps, we have this really pretty, you know, it's great you could put it on your door to say it's a girl or you could use blue and say it's a boy um, announcement. There's so many things you could use this for or it could be a really pretty centerpiece at a baby shower and I don't see my wand. That's why I'm using my hands to push it down. And now I'm just gonna pull this through my slip knot. I'm gonna hold everything really tight into my Bodabra, pull it Pull my, um, my wire extremely tight. Then I'm gonna pull it out of the Bodabra. I'm going to separate the ends and bring them through this gigantic bow. 
to the back and I'm just, I can actually see through the tool and I'm gonna tie a knot. And then, let's really bring this around, reshape it. So I'll kind of hide this behind and then this can just sort of shape around. So isn't that like so pretty and like about as simple as simple gats. So tell me what you guys think. Is that like a really super easy idea for a baby shower centerpiece or even for the gift table? So I'll just keep holding this here so you guys can see. And I just love these lighted pieces. They're so easy to work with. So now I'm gonna put this in. did a thumbs up when people are doing hearts. Thank you guys, I love the hearts. I love the love, that's so awesome. Thank you. So now I'm gonna set this aside and we're going to make a simple um, gift bow. Oh my gosh, that ribbon had glitter all over it. I have to tell you guys the funniest story. So I went home and visited my parents last week and it was just so great. But one of the things, my dad has asthma and, and so we, um, they, ever, they make, everybody takes their shoes off when they go in their par my parents' house. So I took my shoes off, left them in the laundry room where we leave our shoes. And my mom comes over and she's like, why do you have all that sparkle stuff on your shoes? I'm like, it's all the Bodabra ribbon glitter. So it was kind of funny. Uh, my mom is not a crafter. Well, she's creative, but she's not a crafter. So um, now I'm going to cut a piece of my Bodabra bow wire and I'm gonna fold it in half and lay this down into my Bodabra. Tuck the ends underneath. Now this is just, I think this is a really simple, um, so if you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I have blue and I have pink burlap and I'm just gonna find the center, fold it in half, and I already know the center because we already made this bow, but just in case, so that's how we do it. And we made the blue a little bit bigger than the pink. So you would see the difference. And then now we're just gonna make a simple um, bow. So I'm gonna just lay my, my um, blue on top here since I have the pink on top underneath. And just, and then now, so what, let me show you what I'm doing here. This is how we make our, our um, hair bows. Usually we do this in the mini. So I would put the wrong side of my ribbon down then I'm gonna bring this around, and again, I'm gonna put the wrong side of my ribbon down. And then here, I'm gonna center it and do my little mountain up and push that down. Betty and, said, hi, Sandy. Hi, hi, Betty, thanks for joining me. So, and those of you, I apologize for being so late in responding to your comments from last week's Facebook Live, but I was visiting my parents and I really enjoyed spending the time with them. So I, will, I didn't get back to it until today. Um, so now I'm just gonna scrunch my tool down in here. And, oops, I got stuff and I glued out over here. Take my wand and scrunch everything down. And now I'm gonna pull through my slip knot. And again, like with every bow, hold it down, pull it out. Separate the ends, bring them around to the back, just tie a knot, and you can just either hot glue, and I'm gonna kind of separate, I'm also gonna separate. So you can either tie this onto a ribbon, I would take one of my burlaps and wrap them around the package. So you can just tie it with your um, bow dab or bow wire onto the package, or if you're not wrapping ribbon around the package, then you can just um, just hot glue this onto your package. So isn't that super, super simple and really pretty? So, and the different textures of the burlap with the tool. So I hope you guys like it. And next, we're gonna do another really big project. So I'm gonna put this aside and now, oops, me. The next project 
we are going to make another really big bow. I'm gonna take my gold bow dabber bow wire, and because this is gonna have a lot of ribbon in it, I'm gonna fold this in half. Crystal said so cute. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate that so much, especially from you, because you're so talented. So I'm gonna fold this in half and lay this down. In case you guys don't know, Crystal is one of our Bodabra designers. She does awesome, awesome video for us. And um, she's gonna actually be taking over my Facebook Live for me on, um, I believe it's the 10th of um, September, because I won't be able to do it because it's Rosh Hashanah. So it'll be kind of fun to see what Crystal comes up with. I can't wait. I'll have to watch the replay though. Angie said hi. Hi Angie, thank you so much for joining me. So now I've got my Bodabra bow wire. And so now I have my piece, I have a big piece of burlap, of not burlap, of um, mesh. So I'm gonna fold my mesh in half and I've probably got almost two yards of mesh here. And I'm gonna just scrunch this down in here. And then I have to pull all my pieces because this was such a big bow. Um, and then I have these really pretty um, strands of satin. We're just gonna lay those down. So this is like a mobile for your baby. I'm actually gonna take it a little bit more up here. So now I'm gonna lay the satin. And now I'm gonna take my yellow. And again, I'm gonna take the same amount and I wanna just fold this in half. Angie said, thank you, love my bow dabber. Awesome, thanks for letting me know, Angie. Now, have you gotten the app yet? So now, because all you guys know, we have the free bow dabber app, and it gives you all kinds of great tutorials. So I'm gonna just take a couple more strands here of my satin, lay that down in there and take my last piece of burlap, of, I keep calling this burlap, of mesh, and we're gonna kind of fold it in half here. And Bonnie take, said, I love, I bought both Bodabras, I love them. Oh, thank you so much, Bonnie. It makes me so happy when I hear happy customers. And um, I'm sure Terry will share the fan page so that you guys can join us. Oh, I pulled that through by slip and I probably should have used my wand, but I didn't. And so now I'm gonna just pull it out of the Bodabra, separate the ends, because this is really, really big, and I'm just gonna tie knot. And then you can use your wire to tie it on to um, however you're gonna hang it as a mobile. Um, and I'm just gonna knot that there. And then you have this like really, really cute baby mobile with, um, and so simple. And if you don't, um, it works. It also can work really well um, as a table centerpiece. And Terry has some pictures I asked her to put up as Bodabra. So if you guys see those, it'll be really cool. And that's like so fun and super simple mobile idea. People are doing hearts. Oh, I love the hearts. Thank you guys. You know I love the hearts. It makes my day. So and now I'm going to put this Linda aside. Linda said, where do you get the app? The app, just go to your app store. So either iTunes or Google Play, and it's available there. And so now I'm going to make a really, I thought this is really cute paper. And so we just folded the paper in half to make a card. And so now I took some of our um, rhinestone mesh and this really pretty, oh, there it is. This, obviously this is It's a Boy. So we took this really pretty It's a Boy and um, I'm gonna just cut this and act to the size of my, where's my scissors? So we'll go right to here. And all I'm gonna do is take a glue dot to put this on. Actually two glue dots. Or I keep saying glue dots, these aren't glue dots, they're zots. And they're much, for me, the 3D zots are really the easiest to use. And then I'm gonna take my It's a Boy ribbon and I wanna cut it 
So I get all of the it's a boy on here. So I just think this, this could also be a really pretty way to wrap a gift using um, the ribbon and the, the mesh behind it. Nelda said, first time, glad I found you. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Nelda. I'm so glad you found me, too, and I hope you'll join us um, in the future. And actually, that's a great question to ask. The other thing is, can you guys share, if you know anybody having a baby or baby shower coming up, please share our projects with them. And this video, anywhere that you can share, it's like that is the best way to show love. So now I'm going to take my mini Bodabra. I'm just going to set this aside for a second and put this aside. Take some of my silver, I think, my silver Bodabra bow wire, which I've made a total. Oh, here we go. Got some right here. Just going to fold it in half. It's way too much, but actually I'm going to cut it a little bit. So I'm going to fold my Bodabra bow wire in half. And for those of you that are new, every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Eastern, and, and so now I have a piece of the It's a Boy ribbon, and this is going to be my tail. Just going to scrunch this in here. And, oh, oh good, because I thought I was missing something. So there's my tail, and then I'm going to take this really pretty, got kind of a pearl in the middle of it, so we're just going to make a little bow here and I'm just gonna fold and twist and fold and twist whoops and fold and twist and fold and fold this one back there and then I'm going to take my It's a Boy again and just put this right across here. Take my wand and scrunch everything in. And take my Bodabra bow wire and pull it through the slip knot. Pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Pull it out. Separate the ends. Bring it around the back, and I will tie a knot this time, I think. And I'm gonna double knot it. So, and I'm going to just clip the ends. Whoops. And then I'm going to shape my bow out a little bit. And I'm going to take a little piece of my mesh that I cut and take another Zot or any, you know, any glue adhesive that you're comfortable with. I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm going to take one more Zot and put this here. And... Make sure we have our It's a Boy showing there. And, oops, bring that around here. There we go. And now you have like a super, super simple um, gift card. Or you could, like I said, you could wrap, and there goes my hair bow, my hat bow. It might not last the whole show. So anyway, so isn't that pretty? and so simple and easy to make. Maria said so cute. Thank you, Maria, I appreciate that. So we're gonna now put this aside. And do we have time for one more? Yes, we do. So we're gonna finish up with another flower and a headband. So let's put everything aside here. And again, how many of you, if you can just let me know if you have the app, um, and again, you can download it at Google Play or iTunes, just search for Bodabra, and how you like it, I would really appreciate that. So now, I'm going to take another piece of wire. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, 
got quite a bit of wire here. And I'm gonna just clip it. So just in case you want, what I've done now, what I'm gonna do here is make this really pretty headband. So I'm just taking my wire, folding it in half, and this is a great gift for a little girl, anybody who's having a little girl, because we know that everybody likes to take pictures with these bows that are bigger than the little baby's head. So now we're just gonna scrunch this down in here, and then I'm gonna take this piece and scrunch this down. And actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna make this my big bodabra. So, because I think it's gonna be bigger than I anticipated. So we're just gonna fold that in half and lay, just tuck that under. Oops, tuck this under here. And now I'm gonna do this again. So I'm just gonna scrunch this into here. Then I'm gonna take some of my plain tool and just scrunch that. And this is like a five inch wide tool. And I'm probably using about 12 inches of each. And then I'm going to take my petals and I'm just going to put those down in here. And again, I'm just sort of shaping as I go along. And now I'm going to throw these petals in. And I just think this would be such a pretty headband for a little girl. And we're going to do this one more time. And take these petals. Another petal and scrunch it all down and take my wire and pull it through my slip knot, hold it tight while it's still in the modabra, pull it out, separate the ends, bring them around to the back, and I'm going to tie a knot and now I'm just gonna knot it again. Now, I'm assuming this is going to go on a baby's headband. So what I do is I look for the seam. So here's the seam. And I take one piece of my wire, bring it through the seam, like right next to the seam, and then bring it right back through to the other side. Now you can always glue this on for a baby. If they have any hair, they'll be fine with it this way. Um, and I'm just gonna tie a knot, bring it all together. So now nothing is against the baby's head. Um, and then I'm just gonna clip this really tight down here. Yep. And now we're gonna shape our flower Got this puffy back here. So I'm just gonna kind of start shaping by just kind of pushing all my, everything straight up here. And then I can kind of separate it and shape it. Whoops, I have a wire there I wanna clip. And by having the tool behind it also, you don't have any wires. And if you're doing this for a little girl, you wanna make sure that there's nothing that's gonna, you know, hurt them. So now, and there you go. Isn't that like fun, simple? And I thought it would be a really, really fun way to end today's Facebook Live. So I wanna thank everybody for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of the week. We'll see you next week and we're definitely gonna be doing Christmas in July next week. So bye everybody.